plants this is the second part i hope you watched the first one man this is so this is the second part of the this is the second part of the bridesmaids videos so i hope you really watched the first one if you have not please go back and start there you're cheating <laughs> okay yes thank you once again and you're welcome so in this video we are going to talk about my bridal proposal no sorry my bridesmaids proposal yes so what is this what did i do how did i get my bridesmaids how did i ask them how did we get to the number that we settled with and all that first things first i my proposal happened when it was in september and then in yeah september and in december we had the um, how do you call it how would i put it uh okay it is okay it's more of the official engagement the official engagement was in december Omashiviko. it was in december and oh, if i get into it guys this is me talking about other things again okay and then so in feb that's what i know was it feb no i think it was january and january and i sent out videos i might actually play one day so you just have a whole picture of what we are talking about Yes, that's what I sent out first and January if I'm not mistaken because in Feb, I think Feb beginning once a week or something, that's when I had the whole proposal thing. After that I invited them for a um, tea party little lunch thing like something that I organized. It was held at Olive Exclusive. Olive Exclusive is where I think it's in Paris. Somewhere Olive exclusives on your way from Kubata towards Roof of Africa, you turn off somewhere on your right, way before Roof of Africa. Turn off on your right and you know, go out there. Olive exclusives, so it's, a, it's a very beautiful place. I think I should also share pictures of the little deco that we did there. We did the deco ourselves. By ourselves, I mean me and my maid of honor. We did that, we made the things happen. Okay, so after I sent out the invitations of the tea party with details on them, let me just find actually one of the invitations and I plug it there so you guys see it. Okay, so after that, I mind you, this whole time we're organizing these things with my maid of honor. She did not even know she's a maid of honor because I never asked her. I asked everybody else to be my bridesmaid, but I did not ask her she's a maid of honor. Okay. It's the same with Taimi. Taimi was a bridesmaid, my mini maid of honor, that one. But the whole time when I talked to her about bridesmaids things, I always make it seem like she was not part of the game. Like, <laughs> you're not. I didn't say you're not a bridesmaid, but I'm always like, oh, I still remember my bridesmaids. Oh, do you think they should, you know, they like that? It was just never you guys or whatever. So she had no clue she was actually part of the team until she got there. I called her, or did I send her a video? He is that. Okay, so we organized everything with my maid of honor who did not know. We had the whole setup done and we did our little deco there. We had um, Francis from FPS Photography. He's the one who took our pictures. So reliable. And then, yes, the ladies showed up. Oh, what is this? What was this tea party? What was it? Number one, I did it in with the reason of my ladies to get to know each other these are people my ladies are people from different circles of different what areas of my life or oh, how do i put it i met these people along the way so my bridesmaids were 10 in total so this means i had five who were my friends and five were my family it was so simple. If I was to only have five bridesmaids, I would have taken either the group of family or the group of friends, and we were good. 
But it was the F10, then I had the 10 combined. Like that. It was not so hard to choose. What is, was it hard for me to pick my bridesmaid? Mm, no, not really. If I was to decrease to five, was it gonna be hard? No. If I was to decrease to three, was it gonna be hard? No. If I was to get 15 bridesmaids, was it going to be hard? No, because I still know who I would have put in. The five extra people, I still have them, you understand? So, and, but one thing for sure is, I organized the whole tea party because I, I was really a bride that was open to being told, I'm sorry, Sia, I can't make it. I am sorry, I have another event. I'm sorry, this and this and this happened. Honestly, I was really free with that. And I remember telling Tammy so many times that, in case people really don't make it, I have 10 people, right? In case five don't make it, it's still fine. I can do with five bridesmaids. You understand? It is okay to have two that didn't make it, that couldn't make it. Work, finances, love life, everything, you know? Sad ceremonies, anything could actually happen. But I was okay with it, and that was the number one thing that I loved about myself. I didn't have so much expectation from people from the very beginning to the very end. Well, not everyone. Okay? So, that number one for them to get to know each other. Number two for us to just generally discuss the whole bridal package. Okay, my bridal package is I wanted to tell them that, no, you guys are paying. My bridesmaids paid a total of. $3,500 Namibian dollars and um, uh, that, that, uh, for that tea party I was telling them you're paying this much this is what is included and you're supposed to pay the half of it when and one thing I told them was please communicate I need their help I said I, I forgot what date I gave but I know I gave month end of one of the months I need their help this month end because I told myself already the main thing is that I was not going to order or place orders of the bridesmaid stuff with my money I was not going to do that because I don't want to drag anyone I don't want to feel bad oh my gosh she's not paying she's not doing that. I don't want to pay for anyone's um, bridesmaid package they should pay for it themselves they agreed to it but if they could not it was still fine so I told them this certain month end that is when I need half of the amount which is going to be what 1.750 yes 1.750 i needed this month and so then i play i i placed the orders i i told them also that no if you do not by chance um have your 1.750 with me come that month end and let's say you just have a thousand i'm going to really peacefully send back your thousand back to you like oh hey tell me here's your thousand uh it is this this month and uh for whatever reason you couldn't make it it is okay no hard feelings and i was i promise you guys i was not going to feel bad i would have rather had it that way than drag someone and one thing i told myself is i'm not going to be calling bridesmaids oh my gosh you didn't pay and i really didn't i did not call any of my bridesmaids that pay up or do i know because i don't want to stress them and i don't want to stress myself you know already what you signed up for please do it if you can't come through and say boss i can't do it there's no way because come that month end really i was going to send back whoever's money did not reach up to 1.750 but guess what come that month end my ladies some of them have paid everything in full others have paid more than half others have paid half no one paid less than half so that was actually a good time for me i was happy and and these are people that paid and i was not on their necks i did not call anyone or post anywhere that guys please spare i told myself there's no way i'm going to call a bride and she's rolling her eyes like oh hi they say as well you know ah bro no if you had 1.2 come that month and i'm sending back your 1.2 and we're still cool we are still going to be tight it should be like that man no hard feelings okay right and then so that's what we spoke about i told them about the month end issue so that i placed the orders i told them what i was including in the package 
I told them that I needed them the Thursday, preferably not in the evening because they are here. They had job while it's right, so they are here. Was by sleep by Tia, she did it that day. So I was like, that's why they had to come early. It was important they come early, right? And they all did. And I, I loved my group so much because in Nandirongano, they were like, I didn't have to struggle. I did not have to drag anyone. No one drained me. It was so peaceful. I don't know who was taking up all the stress that it didn't come to me with my bed of honor. I don't know who, but this side, it was clean. The I told myself, I'm not going to stress over the bridesmaids, man. I am a bride. This is a queen. A bride is a queen, guys. No, man. I thought I'm not going to stress. Like, I can't wait. So uh, for the um, videos, I'm going to talk about my vendors. I'm going to talk about my wedding planning stories and everything. So you really understand. I was a stress-free bride from day one to the very end. Because I made some decisions and I stopped putting so much on expectation on people. I, I, I didn't have that at all. So yes, um, we had that, we had a little proposal, we had a little chit chat. It was beautiful, I liked it so much. I loved having my ladies there. I loved seeing how well they were getting along with each other. They are all really um, different people, different personalities. Some are hyped up, way too hyped up. Some are so chill, like they'll be in a room and you're actually not thinking they're around. You understand? They are so different. Others are, you know, just there. Some really know, I don't know, um, so much about certain things. You know, when it comes to wedding planning, others don't. And the ones that don't are like, mm, I really don't, but just tell me what do I have to do. You understand? So that I loved so, so much. So I would actually advise that you, as a bride to be or group to be, it's important that if you can, this is not by force, this is not a must do. These are things you should do. Don't do it because it's a strength. Don't do it because that's how it's supposed to be. No, nothing is supposed to be like that. Do the things your way, right? So yes, that day what I did was, uh, not that day, but prior, right? So me and Dana got gifts. We bought gifts from this game. We bought jars, you know, and um, the jars had cosmetics in them. It's just a little something, man. We had the names printed out. You know, your lady loves everything personalized. Everything must have a name down there. We printed out names. We had them on the lid. The lid jars there, down on top there. I also had handwritten letters. So I got envelopes. Again, I printed names on them. Let me find those pictures. I'm really going to put them there so you guys see and get to know what I'm talking about. You understand the whole thing. So with these handwritten letters, I wrote, that's when I, I realized everyone is different. Okay, I knew they're different, but it's just, it was deeper, man. I was like, oh my gosh, this person. Because as I write, I was thinking, oh, this is, wow, this is who, 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 who I chose them because of this. They are this type of person to me. I really appreciate them. I'm not saying because you didn't make it to the team and I appreciate it. No, no, that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying. That, that is what happened so there were sorry handwritten letters i also had them in there <laughs> the funny part is and then i really had no idea hey she was a maid of honor in fact she did not even know she needed that list and i made it seem that i was like there's no way you're gonna be a bridesmaid there's no way i'm gonna make you a bridesmaid who is going to do with everything at home how do i know there's perfection at home when you and dinner are my bridesmaid no, no ways. And it's the same thing I told my cousin Stella. I was like, no, I'm not gonna make you a bridesmaid, but there's no way I am going to make you. How? How? If I could divide you, I would. I understand? But I made the bridesmaid. I mean, uh, she was the maid of honor. She's the one person I wanted to side my wedding off from my side. So that's just the reason. But if she was just a bridesmaid, there's no way I would have made her bridesmaid. She was going to stay home. Or unless she wants to wear the dresses, but she was going to stay home. There's no church part or anything for her. So I, they, they have the drive that I like. They have that that I wanted. Okay. So yes, she had no idea. So I spoke to her about bridesmaid. I was like, oh, I don't know who to bring my bridesmaid. Uh, sorry, not bridesmaid. Sorry, maid of honor. I was like, I don't know who to bring my maid of honor. She's like, oh, people mostly make their relatives, man. So 
maybe you must think of a relative. I was like, okay, maybe I should just think of a cool aunt, one of my mom's cousins. Then she can just be um, a, a, a maid of honor. Because oh, one of my really uh, close aunts, my mom's cousin, she was a, um, do I say, hatcher? She was running the show, there by the kitchen. So she was also not gonna be the one to the wedding if I was to actually choose someone to be her, but how? You understand? It wouldn't even match. So I was just like, oh, then who? And she was like, oh, maybe you can also. She was like, oh, maybe your sister also. I was like, I mean, in my head, I'm like, by default, my sister's my maid of honor. Like, what do you mean? It's like me making my sister the godmother of my kids. Why? She's already a, ma a mother to my kids and aunt to my kids. By default, a godmother. So do I really have to put it on paper? No, bruh. Like she was just a shock. My sister, funny enough, was also just shocked that she's part of my bride's maids. And I'm just like, nigga, we is two, we is born only two. What do you mean? <laughs> but yeah, story for another day. Okay, not a story for another day because I'm not gonna talk about it. But yes, Dina was so shocked. And she posted about it on her Instagram, and really, people did not believe her. They were like, what did you think it was? Like, people knew she, it was most likely going to be her, but she had no idea. That is really how much, is that really how much we don't, you know? For some reason, it's good. It's making me think that I like how she didn't crown herself in my life. Clearly, she did not crown herself in my life. Because if it was someone else, it would have been like, oh my gosh, they make me a maid of honor. Like how? The fact that people concluded that it would have definitely been her. But she did not even picture it that way. She never crowned herself in my life. Which is actually supposed to be a good thing. Because then she, she didn't have such an expectation like that. She was not going to be disappointed. She was not going to think we're not cool. She was not going to hate me for it. You understand? So it's actually a good thing. But yes, she really had no idea. So I was, I was closing down the envelopes with the letters. Baby girl did not know nothing. Like I said, I bought when I bought when we bought the, um, the gifts in this camp. I bought the rest with jars, right? But I bought another one with cosmetics, but it was um, a box. So she's like, yeah, you're just wasting money. Why are you buying this? I'm like, no, this is going to be mine for my seat because if I don't um, have anything on my seat, it's going to look so naked and you know that. She's like, oh, okay, makes sense. So the day of the, no, I think two days or three days before the party, the, the light lunch thingy, I told her, oh, I think you should also just come. You're going to help me. Might as well wear white. And then you see the whole thing, how it goes down. So, you know, help me, man. You're really going to help me today. And she's like, yeah, no problem. But I don't really have to wear white. I can just be there while you guys are having your thing. I can sit separately. So I'm like, no, just wear white. So you blend in. Now we'll find a good goal for you to also be in the pictures. Because we used FBS photographer, Francis. So I was like, no, for you to be in the pictures. Just wear something while she's like, oh, okay, I'll wear my jumpsuit. So we had, it's so funny how the white jumpsuit she wore and the black dress that I wore, picture probably showing here now, that we, we got those outfits done while we're still abroad studying. We got the outfits done by the same lady for an event and we wore them to an event. I'm going to try and find the pictures of us from that uh, event then you know put the two pictures i'm only thinking about it now that it's actually the same office okay so it's like okay let me just wear that but if you know dina so well you'd know she would not wear that jumpsuit or even if she was gonna wear a jumpsuit she was not gonna wear that specific one she was going to go to a whole designer and get something new made she was not even gonna go to the shop she was going to get something made from scratch guys oh my god that girl is the whole go hard or go home that's no way it would have been oh my god and the challenge what will i wear oh another space on its own so she really had no idea she wore just that we sat down i put the box the gift um the box for one at her table where her was her name i think where she was gonna sit then she's like oh why are you putting i'm like doesn't look uniform so i would rather be the one without anything i put the, the, the envelope there also with the kanemiki on i was telling you know this is part of the decree it has to look uniform because you're here you're in my you might as well 
And so she's like, oh, okay. Really, homegirl had no idea. So I was telling them, no, guys, please don't open the letters and stuff. And then she opened. People just saw Indina crying. They're like, everyone was so confused. They didn't understand. They thought Indina was medically a bridesmaid and everyone else was a bridesmaid. So I was like, guys, because I realized everyone else was just so shocked. Like, what the hell is going on? So I told them, guys, she just found out she's the maid of honor. That's why she's crying. I was just, <laughs> I was just laughing, man. I was really just laughing because the way everybody else looked, Dina crying, I'm like, oh, I, okay. But it is so sweet. It is really sweet. So, number one, choose your maid of honor wisely. Very important. I choose Dina. Dina is so close, so dear to me. But she's, she, she wants the best for me. She does not want to be like me. She's a whole different person with a whole different identity and personality. But she's a very beautiful person. Wholeheartedly. Yes. So, like I said, she did not know. But everybody else knew. So, if she really knew, so that, uh, if she really knew, she would have gone to a designer, right? But I, after the event, she was like, yeah, why didn't you tell me, bruh? And I'm just like, that is exactly why I didn't tell you. You would have just given me stress. And she was like, what am I gonna, oh my gosh, my dress, oh. She was gonna show up like a whole bride in white. She was going to be so dramatic. She's the queen of drama, all right? Yes, yeah, so the event went a little like that. Like I said, I know we discussed the packages when I want them home. I loved how they were mingling, how they were getting along with each other. It was beautiful to watch. Different people that I met at different stages and different phases in my life. So we're a family, like I said, but you can be family, but by default, we're not friends. You understand? Or not friends like that. Oh, we can be friends, but I just don't want you in the package, in the dream team. But we're so cool. So yes, choosing your brands means comes with a lot of stories, a lot of whatever, but you make a decision. You choose who you want to be on your team. And I still have people who are not my bridesmaids, but they really outdid themselves for me. I appreciate it so much. And that is how it's supposed to be. Even if I'm not some, somebody's bridesmaid and I want to I want to do something for them or be there for them or whatever it is, be it. I will be. But I will emphasize we meet with the rest of the bridesmaids prior to the wedding. So yes guys, do it, do that, it is nice, it is necessary, please do it. You don't have, you don't really have to break a life for it. Think out of the box, small, simple, something. It always work out well, okay? So yes, um, this was it about my bridal. I'm going to make a whole, should I make a whole slide something about the pictures? Because I didn't have YouTube then, so I don't know if I really have a lot of videos from that, from that day, but it was lovely. I loved it. I had a good time. That was really the beginning of um, fuck, I would say. A whole becoming Mrs. Caleb started then with the ladies also. So yes, um, I can't wait to talk to you guys about uh, what everything else wedding. I think if you guys are interested, if you're not, it is fine. Wedding party, whatever, vendors, everything. But yes, uh, thank you guys for watching till the very end with me. From I, me, myself. From Mrs. Caleb, it is. I'll see you guys in my next video, which I still do not know what it's going to be. But just to take that well. <laughs> take care, guys. Please do not forget to be kind to yourself and to everybody else around you, man. Please be kind. Please be kind. Please be kind. Life is too short, really. A peace of mind is very important. So, you know, have peace within your heart. Bye, guys. I'll see you next time.